So the first thing we need to do is to get them out of this pot and just use a plant label or a knife or something but just be very careful and always, always handle any seedlings by the leaves. Don't handle them by the, the stem here. Now if you can see from this, the first two leaves here are the seedling leaves and then these are what we call the true leaves. So these are the first ones that come up when you plant a seed. If you look there, you can actually see the, the casing of the seed. And now we're going to put these into a bigger pot. And this will be the one and only time that we transplant. From this size pot, they'll then go into the greenhouse or into grow bags, whatever you, whatever you wish. So fill it with some multi-purpose compost. Just press it down. Then make a hole with your finger, and then drop it in. Now, there's a bit too much soil there, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do it a different way. Wait, you just drop the seedling in, and then just surround it by soil. Now, you may have noticed something. But I'm actually sowing this deeper than it was in the in the tree. You can actually put the soil all the way up to the first leaves. That's perfectly fine. And it will actually give you a better root system. If you do it this way. A bit more soil. And then we'll give them a really good watering and put them in a sunny, frost-free place because there's still a chance of frost. It's mid-April with me at the moment. And just give them a squirt of water. And then from here, like I said, once they fill that pot out from here, we'll then transplant them into the growing bags or into the pots, however you wish to grow them. So that's the second stage of growing tomatoes. Come back in a few weeks when we'll be putting them into the pots. I'll just do one more. Now that that one was fairly big. These are a bit smaller, so what you could do is just get a smaller size pot. Because you never want to put a seedling into a pot that's too big. So the whole idea is to go from small pot to big pot so that it develops a good root system. Now, I'm not going to keep all these, I'm going to give some of these away, but that looks a nice one. Just take a bit of the soil off. You can already smell that tomato -y smell. Now, I can put it in like that and just fill this pot to where the layer of the compost is when the seedling grew. But like I said, you can go a bit deeper if you want to. Just make sure all the roots are in. Then fill with compost. Fingers down the side, firm it in. Give it a tap. Have a look if that's deep enough. If you want to put a bit, bit more soil in, you can. Again, fingers down the side, give it a tap and give that a good old watering. So there's two tomatoes there now, ready for the greenhouse.